The world is in need of a new source of energy. Too long have we been relying on fossil fuels. Although no capillary engine has been designed and tested to work, we believe that such an engine is possible. The premise of the engine is to use capillary action to increase the potential energy in a fluid and harness it on the way down. Our goal was to increase the efficiency or feasibility of the capillary engine by increasing the speed of capillary action. We wanted to know if the force of capillary action is affected by temperature. We already know that capillary action is affected by multiple variables, adhesion, cohesion, surface tension, and the diameter of the tube. The greater adhesion is relative to cohesion, the stronger the capillary force, and the smaller the diameter of the tube, the greater the capillary flow. Why is this important? Simply, it can enhance the generation of energy. If a given temperature increases capillary flow, then that temperature will make a capillary action engine more efficient. We believe that capillary flow will be increased by greater temperatures because of the decrease in cohesion relative to adhesion. Another way to explain the increased capillary flow is by the decrease in viscosity. A decrease in viscosity means an increase in kinetic energy allowing molecules to overcome the attractive forces between them and to move past each other more freely, and thus the liquid would flow more easily. The best way to examine the capillary flow is to remove gravity, which is overwhelmingly greater than the adhesive and cohesive forces. Through NASA's dime competition, we were given an opportunity to do so. We performed our experiment in the 2.2 second microgravity drop tower at the Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio. Without the force of gravity pulling down on the water in the tubes, the capillary force continuously pulls it upwards. As it turns out, our hypothesis was correct. Hotter temperatures do increase the speed of capillary flow. So what does this mean? Higher temperatures increase the capillary force, which means that a capillary engine design would be more effective at a higher temperature. 